Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In addition to providing the pack and go wizard that allows you to take publisher files to a commercial printer, Publisher also provides many other options for sending and publishing your publications in the Save and Send options that are shown within the Backstage view. To access the Backstage view, click the File tab in the ribbon, then click the Save and Send command in the panel at the left side of the Backstage view. You can then click on any one of the commands shown in the middle section to view other options in the far right section. You can click the Send Using Email command here to view your options for sending your publication via email in the far right pane. Then you simply click on the button in the far right panel that you would like in order to let Publisher send the current publication using the email format. When you do that, it will open up your default email client, whatever you're using, such as Outlook or Outlook Express or what have you, and it will attach it to an email and then you can go ahead and send. Under the file types section, just below that, you can click the change file type command to then display buttons to the right that you can use to save your publication as a different file type. So for example, we could save it as an older publisher file to be read on a computer that has an older version of publisher. We could save it as an image file, like a PNG or a JPEG, whatever you want. Once you make your selection, then you simply click the Save As button here, which would open up the Save As dialog box. You would choose your location, like we've seen before, and then click Save. We'll go back here and go to Save and Send again. Now you can also click the Create PDF or XPS document command right here. And in the middle panel, you can save the file as a PDF or XPS by clicking to create that particular type of document. So as it says, save this publication in a fixed format. The publication looks the same on most computers as is with a PDF or XPS. However, the content cannot be easily changed, and so forth. You can also publish the publication as an HTML page, if you like. Click the Publish HTML command in the left-hand side here. And after doing that, in the upper right-hand corner here, use the drop-down to select to save it as an HTML page, which, as it says, creates an HTML file with objects in fixed positions on the page, and it also includes the supporting files in another folder. Or you can choose to sing create a single file web page, or an MHTML page, which creates that single file with the images already embedded in the page, and then no supporting files are created, whichever one that you would want to do, and then you would click Publish HTML, and then save that page and post it on the server of your choice. Now under the Pack and Go section, here in the middle, you can see the options for transporting your publication to a commercial printer or to another computer. In the last lesson, we covered sending your publication to a commercial printer, but also note that if you wanted to send the publication to another computer, you can click the Save for Another Computer command in the middle panel here. To the right, you simply click the Pack and Go Wizard button again, which will again launch the Pack and Go Wizard that we saw before. The wizard will then open in a separate dialog box, and the wizard allows you to embed the fonts used by the publication and also include linked graphics in the publication for transport to another computer. You simply read through each screen and make your desired selections in each one. And then when you're finished, you click the Next button to continue. And then when you've completed all of the screens, you click Finish, just like we did in the last lesson. Now, a reason you might want to do this is if you want to open it up on another computer, but that particular computer doesn't have all of the images or maybe the same fonts and that type of thing. If you create publisher templates and wish to upload and share your templates with the Office.com community, 
you can then click the Share with Community button here at the bottom. And then you click the Share button to connect to Office.com. It will prompt you to sign in with a Windows Live ID in order to share your content if you wanted to do that. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.